Jocko, I failed to understand a task that was given to me. I take ownership that I didn't ask the right questions. But extreme ownership applies to my boss too, as she didn't make sure that I understood it correctly. Or is that a poor excuse? <laughs> oh, so <clears throat> optimally in the world of extreme ownership, everybody takes ownership. And there are, and I talked about this with when Dave Burke was on. Good deal, Dave. Yes. <laughs> is that the it's interlocking fields of fire. So the various people that are trying to find solutions, they overlap. And, and problems get solved from two different directions. So the problems get flanked when this is happening. But we can't guarantee always that everybody takes ownership. And we can't guarantee that, but that doesn't mean that we point our fingers at someone and say, you need to take ownership. Because as, as we know, when you do that, people get defensive. And then they start blaming you. So we avoid that. What we do is we take ownership. So what happens here in this situation Here's the possible outcomes, right? If if you go to your boss and you say to her, you know, you didn't make sure I understood, right? Mm-hmm. You go cast that blame. Yeah. There's a there's a decent chance that she says, well, you actually did. You actually need to pay attention. That's not on me. And if you don't understand, you need to ask questions. So nothing. She doesn't change anything. Mm-hmm. She hasn't changed anything. And you, by the way, you've created a little bit of an antagonistic relationship here because you're pointing the finger. So that doesn't really help. Now, here's another possible outcome. You, you know, you go and you say, hey, look, I failed to make sure that I understood this task. Do you mind next time if I give you a quick read back of what I think the task is to make sure that I understand it? Right. So I'm taking full ownership. Like, this is on me. I need to do this. Mm-hmm. And now what you're more likely to get in this situation is, you know, the boss to say, oh, you know what? Of course, absolutely. Hey, you know what? Next time, let me make sure I give you a more detailed explanation so that you have a better understanding. That's on me. And all of a sudden, we've got this problem getting solved from two directions. Now, there's also a chance that when you say hey when you when you say something you know hey let me let me um let, let make sure let me do a read back with you you might say all that and she goes yeah cool you 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 should do that whatever pay more attention mm-hmm. in which case right so she's not taking any ownership she's like yeah you should have mm-hmm. which is the big fear people always have in their head that when when i say something's my fault people go yeah it is, yeah, it is yeah. and now they go wait a second yeah. extreme ownership's <laughs> not supposed to work like that yes it is because when you take ownership of the problem, and I go, you know what? I should have asked you questions. She goes, yeah, you should have. And you go, yep, exactly. That's what I just said. And now you ask questions, and now you make sure you fully understand the task, and now the problem's solved. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I, I think when you asked that question, you had the suspicion. What, what did you say? Is that a poor excuse? So you had the suspicion mm-hmm. that, was, that you were maybe perhaps, unfortunately, making a little bit of an excuse, mm-hmm. but you're correct. It is a poor excuse. Take ownership. Hey, in an ideal world, the pe- person above you in the chain of command takes ownership as well, but you can't you can't force them to take ownership. Yeah. So solve the problem. Take ownership and get it solved. Kind of I mean, kind of when you think of it, do you and this is actually maybe a follow up question. Mm-hmm. Maybe. When you think about it, when you have the expectation, reasonable or not, the expectation that other people have to take ownership too. Mm-hmm. Isn't that essentially negating your whole extreme ownership? Y- yes. Uh, whether it negates it or not, I don't know. Your hope is, look, the hope is when I take, start taking ownership, other people start taking ownership as well. But I can't necessarily control that. I, right. can, I can't force them to take ownership. Yeah. You know, uh, I, can, I can say, hey, that's your part of the project. You should have done it. They go, okay, well, whatever. I don't think so. Right, that, so yeah. me forcing ownership on you doesn't really work. Yeah. What I should do is take ownership. What I hope is when I take ownership of your part of the project, you go, "Hey, hey Jocko, you know what? That's actually some, that, that's actually my department. Let, let me yeah. let me take that. That, that. That's something I should be running." I go, oh, "Okay, cool, great." So you just took ownership. Yeah. But if you don't take ownership, Roger that. I got it, and I'm running right. with it. Yeah, and the genuineness. Where this is, this was a question like that. Kind of, you guys would get asked a lot, mm-hmm. like, well, 
you know, when, you know, it, it would a lot of times be about the other person taking ownership oh, in the always. scenario, right? Which is crazy. But yeah, you, you kind of have that hope. You actually, you do have that hope. Yes, you for do. For sure. But the actual like expectation that, you know, where like an expectation yeah. is there that can I, be I, let down. Yeah, kind of I thing. can't be mad at you. Right. When you don't take ownership. Look, well, I guess I can be mad at you, but it doesn't help. Right? right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if if you were supposed to write a script for a for a freaking advertisement that we were gonna do for uh, whatever, sure. I'm trying to think of something cool. Sure. If if we we're gonna do an advertisement and you were supposed to write a script and then yeah. we show up and you didn't do it, and I'm like, you know what? Hey, let me. We'll we'll come back tomorrow. I'll go home and write a script. Yeah. And you're like. You, what I would like you to say is, no, hey, you know what, John, it's actually I'm supposed to write the script for yeah. this, whatever, I'll do it. And I go, oh, okay, cool. But if you don't do that, you go, okay, cool, go write the script. I'm, I, I have to say, okay, cool, got it. Finally do some work. Now what do I learn? I learn that you're really not in the game. And now I'm probably going to start looking for someone else to write scripts. Yeah. Which isn't you. Which is actually giving me some good ideas. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that genuineness, though, right? To, with yourself. Yes. That's yes. like if I'm this just really doing is. it. If I'm just doing it because I'm. If I'm just doing yeah. it to get Echo to do it, and I yeah. really don't want to take ownership right. of it. Well, yeah. it's not what we're talking about. That's gonna jam you up big that's time. That's gonna jam me up big time. In fact, it, it's now kind I'm just of mad. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Is, is it's kind of a step backwards, really? Like as far as problem solving within the team, kind mm-hmm. of thing. But you're, yeah, you're gonna be mad and resentful. It's like, man. Uh, no one's like no one's doing their work. No one's uh, taking responsibility. No one's re- and you're essentially in the same boat, but just one one step behind. You're kind of like the problem is the opposite. Yeah, of and I mean you can take this out to the nth degree as well, where I start taking ownership of so many tasks that I can't handle them all. Right, that, that you can yeah. do that right, mm-hmm. and then then you go well, you know what? We're not doing this over here. And so well, why aren't we getting that done? Because I don't have the capacity because here's what I'm doing. I'm yeah. doing these other 19 things. So that 20th thing, it's not happening. Now, yeah. if you want to take ownership of it and make it happen, cool. You got my support. Yeah. But if not, it's not happening. Yeah. And that's okay. Yeah, it's almost like when you kind of visualize it mentally, it's like there's like levels and the extreme ownership is always on the top. So th- certain developments can happen. You can take extreme ownership and then like make certain moves and it'll jam it up even more just because of the moves you made. Not mm-hmm. because you took extreme ownership or took responsibility, it's because of some moves that you made in pro- solving problems, which is all natural. But at the end of the day, it is on you. Like you have to take responsibility <laughs> you, you for You have it. to truly say, I'm gonna take ownership. Yeah, and believe it. So that, again, that genuineness to be like, this is my responsibility, yes. genuinely no. Yes. It's uh, yes. It's easy to be it, like, the, the, the good example is when someone says, well, you know, one of my subordinates made a mistake, yeah. and of course, of course, I get it. Mm. It's, I, I take ownership. Extreme ownership. I get it. Yeah, you know, yeah. I get it. Yeah. But really, it was their fault. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's where it doesn't work. 